Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 2, Problem Set. So for the directions, it says, fill in each blank to make the equation true. So we'll start with A. And I see I have 132. And then I want to divide it by 3. So I'm going to partition this into 3 spots. And so I have 3 uh, different sections. That's it right there. 132 divided by 3. <clears throat> so really, that represents 132 divided by 3. Now, if I do this times 3, then I have to draw and make sure I have 3 of those, which gets us back to our original statement of 132 or our original number. Now, what I'll do to demonstrate this a little bit more is I'll actually show you the math for it just to prove it. So if I have 132 and I want to divide it by 3, I'll end up with 44. So that was the division of 3. Now I need to multiply that 132 divided by 3 times 3. So 44 times 3. And I'm back at 132. So that's why that works out the way uh, that it should. So when I divide by something like 3 and then I multiply by something, I'm going to end up with the same value that I started with, and that's 132. So if I look at number 2, or letter B here, <clears throat> I have a division of 25 and a multiplication of 25. And we just proved over here that it, they more or less cancel out. I can take a number and divide it by 25, but then if I multiply it by 25, it's going to be the number I originally started with, which is going to be 225. And the reason why is because that's what they're going to equal. If those cancel out, what equals 225? Well, 225. So we'll take a look at C. And C gives us the 56. I know that it has to equal 56, but if I do 56 divided by 8, because that's all I have filled in right now, I'm going to equal 7. 7 times what gets me 56? because I know I have to end with 56, I know that 7 times 8 equals 56. And again, we see our times 8, our multiplication of 8, and our division of 8, they cancel off, and we'll end up with 56 and 56. So let's take a look down at uh, the very last question, question 2. And it says, how is the relationship of addition and subtraction, which was lesson 1, similar to the relationship of multiplication and division. And the answer to this uh, could be a basic statement, and then I'll go into a little bit more detail. Both of these relationships create identities, meaning whatever I started with, I'm not changing the value of it. So if I go into further detail, if I add, then subtract, or vice versa, meaning if I subtract, then add by the same number, I'll get my original value or number that I started with. Uh, same can be said, and if I multiply, then divide, or divide, then multiply, by the same number, I'll get my original value. Stretch that so you can see it. Um, you could show an example, but we have a couple up above that kind of show this, and this is stemming from lesson one as well. So we're trying to show uh, that there is a relationship between addition and subtraction, which we know of. There's a relationship between multiplication and division, and now we're we're kind of bridging those two relationships together. I uh, hope this helps, and good luck on your problem set.